October marks the season for ghouls and goblins, but in Tazewell County, residents might see another creature around the area, Bigfoot. WVVA's Joshua Bolden got the scoop on how a local craftsman is staying busy with big works of art. Halloween is approaching and driving along Route 460 past the town of Tazewell into Clifffield, Virginia, you might get spooked by these guys. I saw some small ones, mm -hmm. like it, down my house that you saw earlier. Jack Howery is a carpenter by trade and carver on the side. It turned out fairly good, I think. And I don't believe there's one bigger in the state of Virginia. If it is, I haven't saw it. Those mini Bigfoots pale in comparison to his newest creation, standing at 14 feet tall. So the guy you see behind me, yes, that does kind of look like Bigfoot. It is Bigfoot, but it's actually a 300-year-old weeping willow tree. The man who carved it, Mr. Jack Howery, says he ran into some problems when he started. He ran into railroad spikes. Every five seconds, you, you sparks flying, you're hitting metal again, hitting metal again. Jack says he didn't find carving, rather carving found him. My mother died when I was real, real young, mm -hmm. and I went to stay with two mountain men over in Poor Valley. And they, uh, they carved a little bit with pocket knives. When his wife of 44 years, Donna, first saw him carving, she didn't know what to make of it. I thought, he, uh, what is he doing now? <laughs> he was standing with the, the tree and a gnawing at the top of it. At first, I thought he was a little silly. But it's come to realize, I realize he's very talented. Jack says it's a passion, and if anyone at home ever wanted to try it, get your song, go to work. Start out small, and uh, if it don't look right the first time, say, next time it'll be better. Next time it will be better. Here for you in Tazewell County, Joshua Bolden, WVVA News. And if you're interested in a carving, Howery's contact information is listed on Joshua's story at WVVA.com.